What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Ned from Nez Tech Bits and today I'm going to tell you how to find Jesus by drinking Kool-Aid. Just kidding. We're going to have a review. Actually, more of a simple teardown. More of a simple teardown of um, the TW11. Very popular. Wait, is that some rust down there? I'm trying to figure out exactly why this thing isn't working. And I have a feeling it's because uh, my wife has been letting my children use this as a soother basically these aren't soothers jen my wife is awesome so i'm gonna try to take this thing apart i'm gonna try to figure out how to because look at this it's got to come up from the top there's no there's no other marks there's no other marks man i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to save this so i'm going to do it brutally there we go just rip that thing up there yeah, my light is harsh, isn't it? Okay. Wonder. Whoa, 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 wonder. How hard it would be to get that off. Does that look bulged to you? I almost think it looks like it's bulging just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's kind of prickly. I do not like that. I shouldn't say prickly, but bulgy. I do not particularly like that. Okay, and at the bottom, we have... Need a Phillips head screwdriver. I don't like how plump that thing is. I really don't. It makes me a little nervous. Come on out, auto brat. Okay, how do I get you out of there? You only had one screw. Are you glued down there? What's with these people that glue things? Pop. There we go. Okay. No, it's not rusted. Okay, maybe it is rusted. Sometimes I have a hard time telling what is rust versus what is flux. No, that capacitor is definitely toast. That capacitor is leaked. Let me see if I can get you a good view of it. Ah, dang it. Let me see if I can get you a good view of it. Yeah, there's something up with that capacitor right there. But, for those interested, oh, what's this? Huh. Okay, so is that rust? Yeah, that's rust. That's rust. That's not good. That's not good, you guys. I'm sorry. wonder if I have another battery around here I can show you. The steel batteries are super popular from China. Thank God for them, too, because I don't know what I'd do without them. But yeah, look at that. Boom! My wife, my wife was charging and charging and charging, and she's like, this isn't working. Apparently these things aren't uh, keeping you charged either. So you know what? Let's get into these things, too. I do not mind. So that's the battery right next to your ear, so it explodes. There goes your ear, too. There's a cute little speaker. Oh, it's so cute. Look how cute. Just look how cute it is. Oh, they actually got some tech in there, too. Nice, nice. Looks like a terminal block. Terminal block that is soldered in. Oh my god, how would they solder that in there? How would they solder that? I'm sure some engineer out there is going to be like, well, you see. Really, though, if you know how they soldered that in there, let, let me know, because I got, I got mad respect for these guys. However they did it. Seems to be the thing in engineering that uh, you think it's going to be a big deal and it's something super simple. Come on. Okay. Oh, shoot. I thought she said the batteries were done. Okay. So... I wonder, 
Oh, wait, is that, was that me or? No. I'm just looking, this is all one housing. It doesn't, it doesn't come, it doesn't come apart. I wonder, I wonder if I can get at that thing in there. There we go, yeah, I can slide it right out. Oh, jeez, I wonder if I can show you what that is. Is that another microphone, I wonder? What is that? It's not a battery. So you turn it on and off. And then the charge port. Just gonna take a close look at the... No, that's way too small for me to read. <laughs> 